Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Let It Die. So we got a little bit sidetracked at the end of the last episode, which was a pretty good Jin Dai fight, if I do say so myself. Uh, everyone, everything went according to plan and we've unlocked all of the last floors that were still locked, uh, blocking us access to the Shinkobashi elevator. So I'd like to try and explore and unlock that Shinkobashi elevator in this episode, but uh, we're kind of on a, a side path here. I don't know if we've got the Okano elevator yet, the side elevator, but I'd like to unlock this side path too for, uh, you know, uh, the future. We ended up just before this uh, interesting trap floor here. Okay. So, so you drilled me into oblivion. A uh, pretty ineffectual trap room here. No challenge whatsoever. Ooh, golden snow cap. Nice. Oh god. Mines everywhere. Sorry, just pretty those. Damn, explosions. Oh, here's another one. And a lizard. I didn't notice ya. I noticed ya. Okay, better not have those uh, drills <laughs> equipped when I try and uh, stomp on this guy. Okay, this is why you want a uh, fire source available when dealing with these uh, tough uh, cookies. So you can easily cook them. Right. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, there's another one. You cheeky bugger. I'm just gonna collect these collect any beasts we find from here on out because, uh, you know, you want to have healing items for the next uh, big boss as well. Boink. This was a pretty cool. Probably one of my favorite beasts. Look at that, a huge... This guy's got to have uh, infinite pockets to uh, put these guys in. These uh, This collection of cooked lizards. i go ahead and uh, eat this thing. Golden uh, skill thingy bob. I'm not skilled. Um, recovery thingy bob. Get our uh, durability healed uh, back up. Mm mm, delish. Here we go. These are the uh, beasts and shrooms which have a much higher priority on my uh, pickup list than others. The uh, scorpions and the dragons. Definitely like those guys. The dragon for healing and scorpions for damage. And you dead. Excuse me. Yeah, you dead too. Hold on, I'm gonna um, change this equip. Right, there we go. Don't want to be using the uh, strongest uh, drill arm. These uh, durability fixer mushrooms are coming in handy from my let's play, I gotta say. I uh, really don't have to purchase new equipment very often, which is good, because that means not too much uh, between episodes, kill coin farming. I can really uh, pop these episodes out back to back. I mean, I don't know how quick they'll appear on my channel. Depends uh, how often I'm able to record. So, yeah. If anyone curious why sometimes there's a, um, a gap between episodes, it really is just because I'm not able to record, or uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I just wasn't able to record, and so got to spread the episodes out a bit further. Oh, so don't last longer. There you go. Get stabbed. Huh. You. No! Stop breaking my armor! <laughs> this is the same set of armor we've been using for ages now. I just keep fixing it with the uh, durability restor uh, restoring mushrooms. Because we have the head armor uh, upgraded to plus 3 and the 
legs and chest upgraded to plus four. So we've had that for a while now. So this really is uh, armor that's um, that was purchased before the uh, upgrade level was better. Oh, yeah, we can't get anything from you anymore. And it's a silver blueprint, so not even worth selling. Oh, this one's worth selling, but we're out of space. Alas. Uh, right. Okay. Inventory space, so there's absolutely no reason to uh, linger about. Uh, checking out the Okano floor, just to see if that elevator has been activated or not. I'm guessing it is, and we're just wasting a whole bunch of time here. <laughs> Yeah, that's a difficult balance to strike, actually, having uh, the ability to kill your enemies swiftly and easily with the striker, or having the ability to pick up everything you see and farm all of the things with a collector. I'd rather be running around with a collector so we don't have to leave anything lying around. Sweet. I guess we, um, we haven't unlocked that yet. Is there a locked gate somewhere in this floor that I haven't realized? Because I would be surprised if we got this floor, but we didn't unlock the elevator. Uh, that would shock me. So I'm going to have to pick one. Oh my god. It's a monster. Monster. Yeah, you're dead. When you see the kill coins drop, then you can, um, you can start crying because that means the reversal metal didn't drop. So that's a Mark III reversal tuber. He's going to quickly explore this floor, try and find the uh, the reason I didn't unlock that uh, elevator. No, let me through, you meanie. Meanie. Kill you. You dead. And you too. Okay. Uh, there we go. So here's another one of those corridors that turn into a trap room, and instead of having the scratch and hovering guys uh, say hello, we've got the, uh, well, what you just saw. Oh, for a second there, I thought we, uh, we had the gates. Hmm. Hello. Trap room. Cleaver Saber, Cat Eye. I'd love to pick up that Cat Eye, but what am I going to replace? I think I'll drop one of the grilled red stink rooms for uh, replacing. <clears throat> you got to bear in mind how rare certain things are, and you should prioritize your pickups. Uh, drop things that are easy to farm and pick up things that are rare. So we're in a trap room. I guess it'll only open up once we've defeated all of the enemies. Oh, hello. Plan. Hmm. Okay, I believe we've defeated everything. Why is the trap room still closed? Oh man. Please game, please no. I can... And this might be that rare treasure um, tuber trap room. <coughs> that I was talking about in one of the previous episodes where we found a treasure trooper. Oh no, there they are. Finally some enemies have spawned. Because I believe 
After those other spawns, there should be a treasure trooper spawning. The door is not open yet. Oh man, what the what the hell is going on? I don't like this. So yeah, this is a this is a trap room that will trigger when you walk into it. Uh, waves of enemies will spawn. Ah, here it is. Ah. Okay, okay. It can be it can be manually unlocked. Whew. Yeah. I believe this floor, this thing used to um, not be here. That the the doors just unlock themselves once you've cleared out the uh, all the spawns. And there was a bug in the game previously that would have you um, that room could bug out and you could get just stuck there with no way of escape. You'd have to close off your game or suicide or figure out something to get out of there. But Um, not really interested in this dead end here. I really just want to find an exit, so I'm, uh, uh, I can set my mind at ease, because I find it really odd that I would have uh, uncovered an elevator floor without going all the way to the elevator and unlocking it. I'm, I got a suspicion the sneaking suspicion that there's some invisible gates that are not showing up on the uh, on the map that are locked which are blocking my access to this floor from both directions there's actually quite a few locked gates that don't show up on the map when opening you'd see for instance those gates those are two open gates but they still have to be opened by turning the valve and you have to be on the right side of the gate to open them but at least you can see those on the map but there are also some gates like that that just don't show up on the map. Uh, some of them are permanently closed, the ones with no valves connected to them. Uh, some of them have red valves, and uh, it's anyone's guess as to how those open, but uh, I'm betting that this floor is locked from both directions. Another cat eye, awesome. Picking that up, important mushroom. Not gonna bother with the treasure chests. Gamble's room. What did I say? I knew it. I knew it. Open sesame, you sneak bastard. Sheesh. Crazy. Craziness. Okay, well. Suspicions confirmed. I'm gonna try and find the other uh, the other side of that. Uh, locked gate. I mean, there's going to be another locked gate. I'm guessing the w the way that leads to Aragur, I'm betting is locked as well. Either the locked gate is on Okano or it's on Aragur from the other side. If you know what I mean. So let it die, you sneaky game, you follow locked gates that don't show up on the map. <clears throat> How dare you! Well, I'd be shocked if there would be another lock here in Aragur, but even if there was, you know, we've got open etches in Gma now, so we can, uh, we can, uh, we can deal, we can deal with it. I don't believe Okano is available every day. It's one of those rotating floors, so uh, sneaky floor, very sneaky. Damn, this kind of makes me wish I had unlocked uh, the elevator on Dotadori, so we could just take the elevator up. Well, hey. In a perfect world, huh? So we go left and continue on. I don't know if we're going to be unlocking Shinkabashi today. I do not know. Got a bit of a sidetrack here, but it's... Um, yeah, I would consider exploring all the floors, unlocking all the locked gates, to be a very important form of permanent progress in Let It Die. Because really you only have to explore floors the once, you know? Unless when you deal with a situation like this we've got uh, locked gates that don't show up on the map. That's a exceptional situation. 
but most floors really you just have to go and visit right just have to get out of your waiting room and pop over there and have a look because uh, having the, the whole tower explored and available <clears throat> could be very important uh, for farming, you know, any kind of resource. With the single material floors, the, uh, the moving store, uh, certain floors will have a chance on finding golden beasts much higher. Uh, yeah, it can be very beneficial just to have the whole floor explored, because uh, there are really good farming spots throughout the tower for all kinds of resources. <laughs> Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, hello. Do it. Do the trick. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh boy. I do want to defeat him. I want his gear. I want the blueprints. Ooh. Nice one, buddy. Teamwork. He's spent, has spent all of his ammo. Now weapon is a weird one, you only have four shots and then you're done. So, um, what do you do, man? What will you do? You can still melee hit me with his uh, stump of a weapon. Oink. Yeah, unlucky. No uh, red chest this time. Oh, original sting. Oh, I'll trade a red sting for you. Yoink. I'll probably use those original sting for farming TDM or bosses between episodes and stuff. Not be using it for progression. That's against the rules. Uh, continuing this way, ignoring all these. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Oh man, those guys are relentless. <laughs> Leave me alone. Man, I totally called it with those locked gates. I knew there was something the matter, that that uh, floor had been explored, but uh, the elevator not yet unlocked. I knew there was a... There had to be a serious, um, a serious reason why I had not that uh, I had not unlocked the elevator. Because that's a um, that's a serious offense. Exploring a floor and not unlocking the elevator. Uh, reaching an elevator floor, the first objective you should have is to uh, to take out that uh, that uh, elevator to uh, activate it and uh, open up the floor for uh, easy access. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, we're getting some fun haters. No more uh, ridiculous uh, overpowered twink uh, terminator nonsense dudes. Um, yeah, it was just my imagination. I thought I heard a uh, treasure tuber. I used to believe they were guaranteed spawns on certain floors, but uh, I think now I was mistaken. It was just a coincidence that I had come across those treasure tubers that I've got videos of on my channel. Another locked gate. Good. Open that up. That's uh, important to get that sorted. Candle Wolf is kind of ridiculous with its locked gates. I think floor 30 to 40 is even more ridiculous. I think that's a labyrinth of uh, locked gates. Oh man, that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you can tell if you've got the elevators both unlocked when the um, the connection um, is showed up on a map. 
So I can see that these are uh, connecting and uh, active now. That's good. Uh, that's a good uh, progress point there. Where do we come from? From the left or the right? I'm guessing from the left. So I'm going to turn right here. We can duck under that flamethrower. Boink. Good thing we got all this uh, stamina and uh, sprinting uh, efficiency. Come on, buddy. From a certain mark onwards, the hovering tubers will shoot two barrages of uh, missiles, if you could even call them that. Throwing knives. Anyway, they'll shoot uh, f two barrages of projectiles instead of one at a, from a certain mark onwards. I think mark three. Might be mistaken on that. But uh, yeah, it's annoying. Armor package. Bad. Got to dodge twice. Cost more effort. Double the effort. Here we go. Back where we came from. What a crazy side path. Okay, so what an insane floor to unlock. Technically, you can reach Okano from Etches and Jima, which is a floor you have access to early on in Candlewolf. You go to Okano, locked gates. It piques your curiosity. You want to explore the floor. It's locked from the Okano side, uh, not from the Etches and Jima side, so you have to be in Okano to unlock it. You figure, well, I'll go ahead and unlock this gate from the other side. So I guess I'll just enter Okano from Arigur. And then you go from Arigur to Okano. And, uh, well, what's uh, your surprise when you find out in Okano that there's another locked gate, also unlocked from the Okano side, uh, facing Arigur? Well, damn. Then you'll, you realize you can only reach it later. But apparently later means you have to get through uh, Jindai to get the purple escalator up, leading to Dotodori, go down to Fuyubashi, and then to Okano. So yeah, that's... You'd think like the rarest things in the game would be hidden on floor Okano for the amount of effort you have to do to get to it. Absolute insanity. I think there's a couple of uh, times that the that Let It Die does that. Absolutely throws you through uh, all the hoops. So back to Shimi Meno, unlocking that uh, unlocked door, or at least opening that unlocked door from the right side. And then trying to progress further to uh, Shigabashi Elevator. Here we are again. We found the boss pretty quickly, and I'm. it would shock me if this floor was small, so it's going to be... Uh, Taking a little bit of effort to find our way. Beasties. Anywhere else you'd have a chance of finding beasts when breaking uh, <coughs> breaking boxes. Boxes respawn every time you uh, you come back to a floor. It's a good way of farming beasts. Yeah. I keep thinking I'm hearing a revving engine somewhere in the background. I've got a treasure tubers on the brain. What was that about? Go on. Oh, that new trick of yours.
Okay. Hey, crabby. No, oh, the nice space. Oh well. You'll just leave him here for now. Excuse me. Shimano. There's not necessarily anything. Oh my god. I was just gonna say, <laughs> I'm not expecting to find any resource that will prompt me to pick it up. And there we go. Silver skill shoe. Destroy you. Oh, there's multiple spawns. Hey, come on, man. Ah, cheater. You cheater. Don't do that. Bone tubers and armor breakage beasties. Really annoying. I don't know. Oh, hello. Another silver skill stream. Um, what have you got priority over? I think I'm gonna. Well. Huh. I like everything we've got. I kind of don't want to leave anything behind. But I think Sting Shroom has got the lowest importance on my list. I know we've got a decent amount of original Sting lying around in the bank already. Oh wow, this is a this is a kind of special room. Resource point up here. Treasure over here. Oh, that's a bunch of naked dudes. I prefer them over the monsters that have uh, that have been tormenting me in the past. Silver? Well, you shouldn't have. Might as well. Nom 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 nom. Keep this armor alive. Ah, bronze. Don't mind if I do. Sweet. <laughs> this armor is just never going to break. Is this cheating, guys? Am I cheating? <laughs> Me not buying armor for like 10 episodes because I'm able to heal it through shrooms. Feels like cheating. Oh man. I don't know. I'm unsure of what to call this episode. I was gonna say uh, exploring our way to Shimi Meno, I mean uh, to uh, Shinkobashi, unlocking Shim Shinkobashi or something along those lines. But we haven't seemed to like accomplish much things during this episode. Just been exploring side areas, having fun, uh, kicking ass. Doing uh, decent for kill coin gain, actually, especially considering we have been um, recovering the durability of our equip, uh, so we don't have to rebuy another armor set for fencing. Oh my God, Shikabashi! We made it, reached the Shikabashi. We still haven't got the elevator, but hey, now I can title this episode "Getting to Shikabashi." <laughs> <laughs> Again. Great. Well, honestly, we have been fighting a lot of enemies. We've taken out four or five floors and unlocked a whole um, uh, invisibly locked uh, floor previously. So yeah, got some uh, got some good progress, I'd say, this episode. Unlocking uh, unlocking Candlewolf Zone. I guess I'll call this episode. Is there a gate? Man, I'm seeing gates everywhere. Well, anyway, uh, we're just about done for this episode. Um, done for time, out of time. So, uh, take care guys. See you in the next episode.